This is the Ejo One. It's their first sort of off-road mountain bike, electric bike, and uh, sort of a prototype, still kind of in development. There are a few hang-ups with it at this point, but I'm excited to see where they go. Uh, I've actually tested this bike twice. This is the second time, and I've, I've seen them making progress. These guys make a couple of really great folding electric bikes called the Epic, and uh, I'm excited to see them sort of refine this one to meet that quality level. So let me just jump into what they've got right now. Three rings on the front, eight on the rear, so it's 24-speed Shimano Acera. We've got trigger shifters right and left. Some nice knobby tires here, the RST suspension with lockout and rebound adjustment. Decent, kind of a generic metal pedals going on here. Little kickstand action and mechanical disc brakes. So, fairly standard bike. And at present, I think it only comes in this one size, which is sort of medium. The flat black is pretty cool. So let me just jump into the drive system here. This is a 350 watt geared rear hub motor. I I've seen them talking about a 500 watt. Maybe they end up with 350. It's pretty powerful and uh, it's you know, fairly capable for a bike like this that isn't extremely heavy and it's not uh, very large. The battery is enclosed right in that down tube there and it is a 36 volt, nine amp hour Samsung lithium polymer cell. And actually the unique part about it is of course that it keeps the weight low and distributes it evenly across the frame. That's what you wanna do if, you, if you've got a purpose built electric bike like this. The downside to it though is that you'll notice here, the key has to be left in when riding and it's in a pretty vulnerable spot, you know? Your pedals go right by that. You wouldn't wanna kick it, you could damage it. Uh, that's the charging port. And on the underside, there's another keyhole and, and you have to unlock it to pull the battery out. So technically, this has a removable battery so you could charge it work, but I think in practice, it's really not gonna work that well because it's just not very convenient. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Also, controlling that is this, you know, you've got a nice computer LCD screen set up, three levels of assist, shows your speed, your distance, um, more precise battery capacity than if it were just LEDs, which is nice. And they've got a breakout switch console here where you can kind of reach it, you know, when you're pedaling, turn it on, change the pedal assist level. That's, that's great. But because of the shifters that they're, they're using here, the trigger shifters, it just, it spaces it out. So like, you know, it's hard to reach. And that's the same with the throttle here. So if you want to use the throttle, first of all, you just, you know, try to demonstrate this again. You've kind of got to ride in this awkward position to reach it. And I guess I'm hoping that they can address that somehow, maybe with better trigger shifters or something. But it does work. And it's nice that they've got both a pedal assist and a throttle. Now the pedal assist on this bike, unlike the folding Epic bikes and some of their, their other bikes, it uses a torque sensor back here. So however hard you're pedaling, that's gonna send a signal to the motor to activate more or less, right? And so it creates this really smooth ride that's uh, just noticeably more fluid than the basic pedal X sensor design so that's kind of it you know there's there's the bike it's got quick release on the front wheel you've got a quick disconnect cable for the rear so you can you know perform maintenance and stuff on this and yeah you know, all in all it, it rides fairly well so I'm just gonna hop on and give it a go and show you what the the motor sounds like so we're in pedal assist level three right now and if I just push down a little bit on the pedal it immediately activates the motor, which is cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. There's the motor. Nice and smooth. And I'm gonna do it just a little bit. Remember, we're in pedal assist level three right now. So when I do it just a little bit, we should hear it just quietly creeping in. That's that smooth, fluid feeling I was talking about earlier. Really nice. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it up a little bit and use the trigger throttle and just gun it. You can hear how the motor responds to that.
at 20 mile per hour top speed and we're getting there. You know, 19, 19.6, 20. Not bad. Kind of does what it should. And aside from those key position and throttle position complaints, it's not a bad bike. I feel like they're, they're working the kinks out. So for the full written review on this bike and others, check out electricbikereview.com. I'll see you there.